what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back yes so first off let me apologize to my sons of anarchy fans on the channel uh, we didn't get any episodes you didn't get any episodes this week i did put out a post about it that i didn't get a chance to record it because i had planned to re to record it on sunday the four episodes for the week um and i didn't get a chance to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to release these these four over the weekend so just look out for it so i'm going to be recording two today and two tomorrow you'll see them whenever they come out hopefully you guys can get to see them either tonight which is friday friday night and saturday night and then i can just continue what we were doing um the schedule that i have okay so I appreciate you guys for waiting and not bashing me too much. There were some people that was asking about it, and I did tell them that I didn't get a chance to record them for the week. Um, and it's not that I can't handle the schedule, because some people were saying, uh, maybe you're reacting to too much stuff in two days. Uh, it's not that I can't handle it. It's just that I, because when I plan to do something, I plan it out. I will tell you, if I, if when I start doing it, I can't do it, I will let you guys know that I can't do it. But... At this moment, I, I think it's better that way that I actually spend the time and do it that way because I have no time right now during the week to do reactions. I'm not saying that this is the method that I'm going to be using going forward forever. That is not what I'm saying. The problem is that I don't have the time in the week right now to do it because, um, you know, I'm back trying to get business rolling again so i'm not at my house during the week so i said let me knock out all these reactions on saturday and sundays maybe even friday nights um and then i can just relax for the week i can just do what i do come home sleep do what i do come home sleep and don't have to worry about reactions during the week because everything will be scheduled already and you guys will have it okay so that's what i'm shooting for yes it's hard work and but i do enjoy the shows and i think that's make it easier because it's not something boring that i'm doing it's actually something that i enjoy doing so and that way too you know what i'm saying it's easier for you guys because you guys will be on a schedule you will know when shows are coming out and you don't have to be asking me when is the next thing coming out because you have the schedule you know when it's coming out if you don't see the episode that simply means that it's not coming out okay if you don't see it that day that means that it's not coming out if you want to ask me you know why there wasn't an episode that's fine i'm not the type of reactor that's going to say you know or be rude to you or anything like that you have a reason and this is a community and i'm the one that's in charge of the community i'm the one that's in charge of the reaction so if you ask me that question i'm not going to be rude to you or anything like that i will let you know if there was a problem if something happened that didn't you know i'm saying i didn't get a chance to um actually record the episodes um i will definitely let you guys know it's no big deal to ask that question but if you know the schedule and the day hasn't passed yet don't ask me in the middle of the day because that's just wrong <laughs> anyways so i will let you guys know so right now let me jump into this reaction man and i will see you guys for the review if you don't know what's going on i have already um gone back and you know look at the, uh, the episodes that react because it's been like a week since i reacted just to kind of refresh what was going on you know we know that Gemma is still having you know her troubles with um you know this guy that basically raped her and all this other stuff she tried to kill him but decided not to um you know because it's a scary thing i don't know if she's ever killed anyone before so there's that too plus he was i think he was talking to his son on the phone and i think she even though she acts a certain way she does have a very kind heart she loves her family and i respect that you know what i'm saying then you have tara you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she's fully on board. You know what I'm saying? She's fully on board. In my opinion, she's fully on board. And we still got tension between Clay and Jax. So I'm looking forward to see what's going on. Um, we'll, we'll see how things go. Because right now, you know, things are kind of splitting apart and all of that stuff. O you know, Opie is, yeah, I mean, he's more siding with Clay because he doesn't know that Jax is actually trying to protect his ass. He doesn't know that because they won't tell him the truth. 
Um, I think he would go off the handle and maybe kill freaking what's his name Tibbs or whatever. Is is it Tibbs? A Tib Tig Tig and Tibbs, right? Right. So, um, yeah. Sooner or later, I will know how to differentiate them. Um, you know, so it is to see what's the ten. The tension is growing, and you know, you don't want to have a team and there's you know infighting and stuff like that. Like that's always that never turns out good unless that beef is squashed. So let's see what they have for us, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so I finally finished those four episodes, and I have to say, man, I'm going to try to relax in my chair and do this review because I have a lot to say. Now, first of all, first and foremost, this series is absolutely amazing. So far, so good. Eight episodes into season two, and I mean, I'm intrigued to see what is going to happen next. I think right now at this moment, Gemma has been pushed to tell everybody her secret. And I think she has to. If she wants this club to have some semblance of unity after this, she has to tell them. She has to tell them because it will take the focus off of the, you know, the infight in, in the club and turn it on to let them focus on the target, which is Zobel. So that's my opinion of that. For everything that went through, I'm so sorry to hear that, Luan. Because I was wondering who the person was. I was thinking maybe it's one of the porn stars, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's more of it. it, it the way how they they filmed, they didn't make it look like it was Luan. But the car was a dead giveaway. But I didn't pick up on it um, until they said her name. I was like, oh shit, that is Luan's car. And I mean, it seems like Otto and now Luan is dead. So what is Otto going to do now? He lost an eye for the club. He's doing so much for the club just because he wants Luan to be safe. And they did not keep Luan safe. What is going to be the repercussions of this? Because I think now Otto might say, oh, shit, these guys are not. I've given up so much for the club, so many guarantees, and I can't get no guarantee. What is Otto going to do now? He's blind. Literally can't see shit for the club. You know what I'm saying? Um, doing this time for the club. You know, things are just spiraling out of control right now. And I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know. I honestly cannot sit here and say I know what's going to happen next. I know for sure that Gemma is probably going to be pushed to tell them the secret. Tara is like she she might lose her job you know what I'm saying so you know she she is on board she's still a little bit you know tiptoeing the line a bit of being you know that fully committed to the club but at the same time you know I think she's about 80% there um what else Tig 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 is a problem. Tig is going to get somebody killed. He is going to get somebody killed by not acting. He didn't fire a one bullet during the, 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 the shootout. He did not. You get what I'm saying? He was sitting there scared. And the same thing Clay was saying is like, I'm not afraid about, you know, worried about the things that you did in the past. I'm worried about the things that you may have to do now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he, he won't, I don't know if he, if he's confused, if he wants to turn out, if you leave, he's a little bit scared on the things he wants to do. And I think it, you know, I think Donna's death had that impact on him. Um, Opie is still, still trying to get the truth out of Jax. Jax is refusing to tell him. Of course, we know why, you know, it would just make things worse. You know what I'm saying? At this point, it would just make things worse. Maybe Gemma is going to force them to say to say the things, you know, talk about Donna and what happened and see what's the outcome of that. That's worst case scenario that that happens. Best case scenario is that she's going to tell them what they did to her and take the focus off of the infighting and let us focus on Zobel. 
Now, at first, I actually thought it was Zobel's daughter that got killed, but then I didn't even recognize they showed they they showed the car for a reason, um, without saying that it was actually Luann. So I thought it was Zobel's daughter at first, but then I was like, no, it can't be Zobel's daughter, um, you know, cause cause maybe, uh, man, I hope they don't turn around and do something to Zobel's da daughter, if. Gemma tells them the truth like that's another thing that I'm worried about too like maybe they'll retaliate by doing something to her daughter to his daughter like I don't want to see that as much as I don't like Zobel and what they stand for I don't want to see her you know what I'm saying I wouldn't like to know that they would go that far you know what I'm saying I don't think that's what the club is about I think the club the, the, the club like they don't go for stuff like that you know, rape and all of that other stuff, like, they don't, I don't think they would retaliate in those kind of ways, that's not their way, so I don't think they're gonna, they would go that far, um, so, things got heated between Jackson Clay, it was brewing, we knew it was going to happen, it was fun to see them fight, you know what I'm saying, it was fun to see them fight, but it was also very destructive in, in the context of the show, because, they still won't tell anybody why this is going on. Everybody knows there's some serious tension. Even Tig was trying to pull Opie off of that, you know what I'm saying, on the trail because he was kind of on. He was like, what is going on between them? And he's like, oh, this has been happening way before what happened with Donna, which is technically true. But we all know the reason why Jax is fighting so hard right now against Clay. Like, it, it, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, going off the rails trying to do things different so hastily is because of what happened with Donna and him not being truthful about it I don't know why Clay really attacked Jax like in in the jail cell like I didn't understand that I that the in the context of the show it didn't really make sense but you just kind of have to accept it because it didn't really make sense you find out that he knows that you killed Donna but why it why go back and choose to fight Jax? I don't I don't understand. Is it because he told him to forget about it and let's move on? Is for the betterment of the club? Because I remember them having that conversation. But Jax didn't promise you anything, my guy. And and first of all, I told you guys from before that I lost a lot of respect for Clay because of this. Because he had a chance to t to level with Jax and he didn't. I lost a lot of respect for him over that conversation because he should have come up front and be like I didn't really know what to do you know what I'm saying he could he had a chance and and it's the same thing with um what Bobby was trying to tell them is like yo this dude is old he's never going to admit that he's wrong about anything and it's very true you know which is which is such is such a poor thing to have as a leader as a leader you can't, you, you you cannot fudge the truth. You can't fudge it up. You can't, as a leader, you cannot fudge. You got to be honest 100% of the time. 100% of the time. You have to be honest with people. Else when people find out that you, if they know for sure that you're lying to them, they're not going to trust you anymore. They're not going to want you to lead them anymore. That's exactly what's happening with Jax. Yes, Jax is making some stupid decisions. Two, but he's trying to do things in a manner where they don't have to be doing all of this violent stuff and trying to help people to save their lives. Yes, everything is chaotic right now. Sometimes it dies down. But at the same time, what do you think is going to happen? You guys are living... You guys are criminals. Let's just be honest about it. They're criminals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Yes, when things are nice, it's nice. According to Gemma, you know, things die down. You know what I'm saying? Everything is hunky-dory, but right now they're at war. They don't really know who's cool with them or not. And again, you're criminals. Nobody really trusts each other. You know what I'm saying? Except who you're with, really. And to have all this infighting just makes it worse. But from Jackson's standpoint, from Jack's standpoint, I, I have to understand from his standpoint, I'm rooting for him to change the club because I'm all, as I said earlier, I think it was during the break, one of um, one of the videos, 
I thought about we all want to see criminal reform. We all want to see I I don't mind if if they change their ways. You know what I'm saying? If they change their ways, you know what I mean, um and decide to go straight, I'm all for that. You get what I'm saying? Now, you know, in real life, should they answer for the things that they did if they killed anyone? Yes, of course. You know what I'm saying? Would you rather them turn themselves in and do the time? Yes, I would. You get what I'm saying? But in the context of the show, if they turn straight and they don't have to do that, have some legitimate businesses and stuff like that, kind of like what happened in the Power TV show, right? I'm all for that. You get what I'm saying? I'm all for that. You take your time, you get out of it. Because you're already a criminal. Of course, as the criminal, you don't want to go to jail. So I'm not going to say you should go to jail or you must go to jail. You get what I'm saying? You know, I don't know how to say this. Because it's a morality thing. It's a morality thing. But in any case, guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning in for these episodes, man. I really do appreciate y'all. Hopefully Gemma comes clean. I think she will. That's my opinion of this. This show is so awesome and well written. A lot of you know switch switch rule. I'm the relationship between um, Gemma helping out the dude's daughter and stuff like that. And him decided that he's gonna run against um, Hale's brother um, for mayor so that they can keep control. So that's good. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment. See boy terabyte reacts. Peace.